The F-22 Raptor is a fifth-generation fighter that is considered fourth-generation in stealth aircraft technology by the USAF. It is the first operational aircraft to combine supercruise, supermaneuverability, stealth, and sensor fusion in a single weapons platform. The Raptor has clipped delta wings with a reverse sweep on the rear, four empennage surfaces, and a retractable tricycle landing gear. Flight control surfaces include leading and trailing edge flaps, ailerons, rudders on the canted vertical stabilizers, and all moving horizontal tails. These surfaces also serve as speed brakes. The aircraft's dual Pratt and Whitney F-119 PW-100 afterburning turbofan engines are closely spaced and incorporate two D-pitch axis thrust vectoring nozzles with a range of plus minus 20 degrees. Each engine has maximum thrust in the 35,000 lbf, 156 kilonewtons, class. The F-22S thrust-to-weight ratio in typical combat configuration is nearly at unity in maximum military power in 1.25 in full afterburner. Maximum speed without external stores is estimated to be Mach 1.82 during super cruise and greater than Mach 2 with afterburners. The F-22 was designed to be highly difficult to detect and track by radar. Measures to reduce radar cross-section include airframe shaping such as alignment of edges, fixed geometry serpentine inlets that prevent line of sight of the engine faces from any exterior view, use of radar absorbent material RAM, and attention to detail such as hinges and pilot helmets that could provide a radar return. The F-22 was also designed to have decreased radio emissions, infrared signature and acoustic signature as well as reduced visibility to the naked eye. The aircraft's flat thrust vectoring nozzle reduces infrared emissions to mitigate the threat of infrared homing, heat-seeking, surface-to-air or air-to-air -air missiles. Additional measures to reduce the infrared signature include special paint and active cooling of leading edges to manage the heat buildup from supersonic flight. Key avionics include BI Systems I and S and slash ALR-94 Radar Warning Receiver, RWR, Lockheed Martin and slash R-56 Infrared and Ultraviolet Missile Launch Detector, MLD and Northrop Grumman and slash APG-77 Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar. The MLD features six sensors to provide full spherical infrared coverage. The RWR is a passive radar detector with more than 30 antennas blended into the wings and fuselage for all-round coverage. Tom Burbage, former F-22 program head at Lockheed Martin, described it as the most technically complex piece of equipment on the aircraft. The range of the RWR, 250 plus nautical mile, exceeds the radars, and can cue radar emissions to be confined to a narrow beam, down to 2 degrees by 2 degrees in azimuth and elevation, to increase stealth. Depending on the detected threat, the defensive systems can prompt the pilot to release countermeasures such as flares or chaff. According to Bill Sweetman, experts had said the ALR-94 can be used as a passive detection system capable of searching targets and providing enough information for a radar lock-on. The Raptor has three internal weapons bays, a large bay on the bottom of the fuselage, and two smaller bays on the sides of the fuselage, aft of the engine and picks. The main bay can accommodate six SLAW 142 SLA launchers for beyond visual range missiles and each side bay has an LAW 141 SLA launcher for short range missiles. Four of the launchers in the main bay can be replaced with two bomb racks that can each carry one 1000 pounds, 450 kilograms, or four 250 pounds, 110 kilograms, bombs. Carrying armaments internally maintains the aircraft's stealth and minimizes additional drag. Missile launches require the bay doors to be opened for less than a second, during which hydraulic arms push missiles clear of the aircraft. This is to reduce vulnerability to detection and to deploy missiles during high-speed flight. The F-22 can also carry air-to-surface weapons such as bombs with joint direct-attack munition, 
JDAM, guidance and a small diameter bomb, but cannot self-designate for laser-guided weapons. Internal air to surface ordnance is limited to 2,000 pounds, 910 kilograms. An internally mounted M61A2 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon is embedded in the right wing route with the muzzle covered by a retractable door to maintain stealth. The radar projection of the cannon fire's path is displayed on the pilot's head up display. Play. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role fighters. The fifth-generation combat aircraft is designed to perform ground attack and air defense missions. The F-35 has three main models, the F-35A conventional takeoff and landing CTOL, variant, the F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing Stavl, variant and the F-35C carrier-based catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery, Kadabar, variant. On July 31, 2015, the first squadron of F-35B fighters was declared ready for deployment after intensive testing by the United States Marines. On August 2, 2016, the U.S. Air Force declared its first squadron of F-35A fighters as combat ready. The F-35 resembles a smaller, single-engine sibling of the twin-engine Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor and drew elements from it. The exhaust duct design was inspired by the General Dynamics Model 200 design, proposed for a 1972 supersonic VTOL fighter requirement for the sea control ship. Although several experimental designs have been developed since the 1960s, such as the unsuccessful Rockwell XFV-12, the F-35B is to be the first operational supersonic, Stavl stealth fighter. The F-35 has been designed to have a low radar cross-section that is primarily due to the shape of the aircraft and the use of stealthy, radar-absorbent materials in its construction, including fiber mat. Unlike the previous generation of fighters, the F-35 was designed for very low observable characteristics. Besides radar stealth measures, the F-35 incorporates infrared signature and visual signature reduction measures. The Fighter Teen series, F-14, F-15, F-16, and F-A-18, carried large external fuel tanks. But to avoid negating its stealth characteristics the F-35 must fly most missions without them. Unlike the F-16 and F-A-18, the F-35 lacks leading edge extensions and instead uses stealth-friendly chines for vortex lift in the same fashion as the SR-71 Blackbird. The small bumps just forward of the engine air intakes form part of the diverterless supersonic inlet DSI, which is a simpler, Lighter means to ensure high-quality airflow to the engine over a wide range of conditions. These inlets also crucially improve the aircraft's very low observable characteristics, by eliminating radar reflections between the diverter and the aircraft's skin. Additionally, the bump surface reduces the engine's exposure to radar, significantly reducing the strong source of radar reflection because they provide an additional shielding of engine fans against radar waves. The Y-duct type air intake ramps also help in reducing radar cross-section RCS, because the intakes run parallel and not directly into the engine fans. The F-35A is armed with a GO-22 slash A, a four-barrel version of the 25mm GO-12 equalizer cannon. The cannon is mounted internally with 182 rounds for the F-35A or in an external pod with 220 rounds for the F-35B and F-35C. The gun pod has stealth features. Software updates to enable operational firing of the cannon are expected to be completed by 2018. The F-35 has two internal weapons bays and external hardpoints for mounting up to four underwing pylons and two near-wingtip pylons. 
The two outer hardpoints can carry pylons for the AIM-9X Sidewinder and AIM-132 as ram short-range air-to-air missiles AAM, only. The other pylons can carry the AIM-120M ROM BVRM, AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, JASM, Cruise Missile, and Guided Bombs. The external pylons can carry missiles, bombs, and external fuel tanks at the expense of increased radar cross-section, and thus reduced stealth. There are a total of four weapons stations between the two internal bays. Two of these can carry air-to-surface missiles up to 2,000 pounds (910 kilograms) in ANC models, or two bombs up to 1,000 pounds (450 kilograms) in the B model. The other two stations are for smaller weapons such as air-to-air -air missiles. The weapon bays can carry AIM-120 MROM, AIM-132 ASRAM, the Joint Direct Attack Munition. JDAM, Paveway Series of Bombs, the Joint Standoff Weapon, JSOW, Brimstone Anti-Tank Missiles, and Cluster Munitions, Wind Corrected Munitions Dispenser. An air-to-air -air missile load of 8 AIM-120s and 2 AIM-9s is possible using internal and external weapon stations, a configuration of 6 2,000 pounds, 910 kilograms, bombs. Two AIM-120s and two AIM-9s can also be arranged. The term AS Multi-Mission Pod MMP, could be used for different equipment and purposes, such as electronic warfare, aerial reconnaissance, or rear-facing tactical radar. The British Ministry of Defense plan to fire the select precision effects at range, spear, capability 3 missile from the internal bays of the F-35B with four missiles per bay. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe the channel for more.